Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Mule Korean with Sirius. And today we have a big, big, big game against Mönchengladbach. The semi-finals of the Europa League. The second leg. Obviously we've won the first leg. It was 1-0. So we have an away goal. But now, can we get to the Europa League final? Let's find out. <laughs> so I have my best possible starting 11 out. As you can see, Zalalem is still a bit hurt, but I'm gonna play him because, well, just look at that. Nobody else is fit and I don't really want to play a 47 overall academy player in this game. So, anyways, it's also Gerhard and obviously, and Patrick Roberts, Zivkovic, Danny Ings, Jordan Iber front and back four as usual, and Paul Nardi in goal. Let's go, guys. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Here we go. Welcome to the den. A beautiful Thursday night right here in London. And it's a big night, of course. So Inter have won their first uh, leg against Liverpool 2-0. So if we get to the final, we most likely face Inter Milan. And here's Mönchengladbach starting 11. I don't think it has changed at all compared to the first leg. It's a very decent team and this time I expect a lot more pressure from them. They can't just sit back and wait for counter-attacks because they have to score, so... Yeah. Oh, Roberts, that was a good tackle. Mandzivkovic back to Patrick Roberts. There we go. It's looking very good early on. Danny Ings, shot fake. Pass it back to Roberts. Now to Yannick Gerhardt. There's the Lalem. Hit one. Oh, Alvaro Dominguez blocks it and Schneiderlin clears it out. And there's Schneiderlin to Patrick Herrmann and Nardi saves it. That was the first chance for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Oh, I see a run. I see a run by Patrick Roberts. There we go. Oh, Alvaro Dominguez. It's cleared out for a corner. So the is going to cross it in. There's John Stones. Come on. Oh, he heads it over. Oh, great chance to make it 1-0 early on. There's Raphael. With a shot from outside the box, it was a pretty good effort, but it goes clearly over. Taking a look at that one, it had a nice little bend on it. Ooh, it was actually quite close. Almost touched the crossbar there. The ref still hasn't blown for half time yet. It's been like 10 minutes of at a time, feels like. But now he blows the whistle, and it's nil nil after 45 minutes played. And well, both teams defending very well. But Mönchengladbach, surprisingly, not really attacking that much, not, not pressuring us too much. Because, well, they need a goal! They need a goal! It's as simple as that, and they just pretty much play the same way as in the first leg. And the halftime result for Inter vs Liverpool is 1-0, so right now still Inter would be through. I think Liverpool would need two more goals. They would have to win 3-1 to win on away goals, I guess. <laughs> it's a bit bit more, I'm a bit more pressure right now, I would say. Oh, there's Schneiderlin with a great pass, but Nardi is first to it. What a great reaction by uh, the Frenchman in goal. This could have easily been the 1-0 right here. Ah, oh, Luke Shaw, that was nice. Come on, cross that one in. There's Danny Ings. Oh, he can't get ahead of Schneiderlin. He's going to clear it out for a corner. Roberts with the corner in. There's Yannick Gerhardt. Ah. Oh. Sommer saves it. Salalem hit one. Oh my god! Salalem! What an absolute traum to right here! Jan Sommer with no chance! Oh, what a strike! What an absolute strike! Perfect! Perfect placement right there. Sommer was uh, out of his goal, really, because he uh, cleared the ball out. But there was a perfect shot by Salalem. Absolutely beautiful, and we're now up 2 0 on aggregate. And Borussia Mönchengladbach will now have to score two goals. But then again, if they would score two goals and this game would end 2 0, then they would progress because of the away goal ruling. So we still have to watch out that we don't mess up here. So I am gonna make two chains ra changes right now. Nabri's gonna come in for Roberts and Dede Ali for Yannick Gerhardt, mainly because of fitness right now because we have a big game against Man United on the weekend so I want to have as many first team players as possible out. Ings would cross in, find Sivkovic but can quite control it it seems like but it's a free kick for them. 
I don't know why, but Zivkovic is now also going to come up. Yasin Fairman in, because I definitely want Zivkovic against Man United. Oh, Fairman to Danny Ings. Could this be the dagger? Could this be the dagger? Yes, it is! 2 0! And looks like Gatta are going to get a red card as well for a foul. But that is it. Gatbach are not going to score three goals now. Surely not. And Dele Ali again scores in the Europa League. I think that's his third or fourth goal in the Europa League. We're going to see it in a second. But it's definitely a huge one. Sommer, mm, he almost saved it. But in the end, but the shot might have been a bit too powerful. But I actually thought he would save that. Dele Ali, yeah, now three goals in the Europa League. And of course, somebody had to get injured, and it had to be Danny Ings. I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised at all. We're winning 3-0, it's a 90th minute, injury time, and one of our biggest, or, uh, not really biggest, but one of our best players gets injured. I'm not surprised at all. Really. Couldn't be less surprised than Gladbach could go back, but I <laughs> really couldn't care less. Oh, ref, just blow the whistle before every single man on the field wearing a Mewu uh, jersey is going to get injured and yeah he finally blows his whistle that was a great tie for us really 3-0 in aggregate winning the first leg 1-0 at Merton Gladbach winning the second one 2-0 at our ground and Gladbach were a very, very good opponent oh, it w actually it wasn't 2-0 uh, obviously because they scored that goal Max Cruz with his 14th goal in the Europa League this season which is pretty insane but yeah, Gladbach, like I said, they will they were a very good opponent, but in the end we won quite deserved. And looks like we're gonna face Inter Milan as the game finished 1-0. And indeed we do. So it's gonna be a English Italian final in the Europa League. Yes! First of all, Julian Weigel is gonna come back in one day. He's 80% match fit. And Danny Ings hasn't picked up an injury, that is absolutely awesome. And we get 1 million for progressing to the final of the Europa League, which is pretty nice. So before we get into the second and last game of the episode against Man United, let's check out the squad report and see how our squad is doing. So Jack Butlin still 79 overall, Sam Nagnu plus 5, I'm not sure if much has changed. I think John Stone's 83 overall now is new. And yeah, as always, if you want to take a closer look at a player, feel free to pause the video. And let's just get through this rather quickly. Uh, luckily, it looks like Arturo Gonzalez doesn't lose many stats, even though he's been pretty much injured the whole season. Uh, Zalana plus one, I think that might be new. And let's keep going. I wish I, I wish Isaac Beatty would have gone to like a 75 overall this season, but... Looks like that's not going to happen, and yeah, not much has changed, but I really like how the school is doing, and now let's actually take a look at the table first and see, we still we still have a game in hand on Chelsea, so if we win that, we're going to be first again, so it looks like the draw in the last game against Newcastle wasn't too bad actually. So this is the team I'm going with to take on Manchester United at Old Trafford. Zivkovic, Chifchi and Roberts up front. Nabri, Weigel and Daly Ali in the midfield. And Luke Shaw, Castellet, John Stones and Arlen Ajeti at right back. And of course, Butland in goal. This is a huge game against a very tough opponent. We're into May, which is obviously the last month of the season. So yeah, let's go and win this freaking title. It all starts now. So let's take a look at United starting 11. David De Gea in goal. What a surprise. Usually you always face Lindegaard in career mode. Raphael, Phil Jones, Rojo, Daily Blind, Gundogan, Kedira, Mata, Javier Hernandez and Wayne Rooney. This, this team has not changed much. I have to say. Oh, Zivkovic keeps the ball right here. Hit one. Oh, De Gea has to make an early save. Not even 10 minutes in and we get our first chance of the game. Come on, hit one. Oh, again a very nice try from outside the box. Dede Ali this time goes just wide. There's Roberts now. Shot fake. Now let's cross it in. There's Sivkovic with the header. Oh, the care. Rather easy save. There's a corner now. I see. I see them scoring that one. 
Really, Gundogan shows to one matter. And please get that button, yes, and don't run, to the, uh, run into the goal. And I guess you could call that a first chance for United in this game. First shot towards the target. But uh, it wasn't really dangerous, was it? But of course, a uh, ref still lets him play. Doesn't blow his whistle. Now, maybe, please. Wow, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. It's still nil nil. We get into this halftime break now, and we definitely need a goal. We need to win every single game in order to win the title because Chelsea are so strong this season. Not, don't think they're gonna slip up. <laughs> oh no, 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 Mata! What a big chance! This could have been, maybe should have been 1 0, but Juan Mata missed right there. In very close range. Oh, Chief G. That was a great tackle. What a mistake there. And that's a penalty, surely. And a red card, please. And a red card. It has to be. What? Only a yellow. There was a clear cut chance. Wow. Phil Jones getting away with one there. The shirt pull. Which denies Sivkovic of a great chance to put us up 1 0 here. But well, we do get a penalty, so it's all good. And now Angel Di Maria is going to come in for Sammy Kadira. I know you can do this. I know we can do this. Top left. Yes! 1-0! Sivkovic! Sivkovic! Our biggest player. Uh, again, I said biggest. I mean, best player, of course, this season. He puts us up 1-0 here. He scored so many penalties this season. And again, he puts one away there, Sivkovic. I'm not sure how many goals he's got now. I think he's in 20s now, which is just absolutely insane. And yes, that's his 20th goal on the season. And what a huge one this could turn out to be. I'm again going to go defensive and counter-attacking because I expect loads of pressure now from United. And look at Patrick Roberts getting the ball from Wayne Rooney like it was nothing. Now let's... Put one through to sit at Nadi Chifchi. Little shot fake there. I'm very focused right now. Oh, Raphael, what a tackle there. Wayne Rooney is going to shoot. Yes, he will. And he misses the target by that much. It's a really good chance there. We don't want to let Rooney shoot because it's usually going to be very dangerous. I'm going to make a couple substitutions because some of my players are just absolutely knackered. Uh, as you can see, I brought off Luke Shaw. Now Haidara is going to play at left back, and Fairman is going to come in for Richard Zivkovic. Danny Blind is going to cross it in. Ajeti, please win his header. Oh my god, what a chance! Wayne Rooney with a header. It was so close. Was it actually deflected? Yes, it was. Man United now get a corner. Meanwhile, I'm an ultra defensive. Oh, there's just so much pressure. Castellato clears it out now. Oh, Weigel, what a tackle. I just absolutely love this guy. There's no denying that. And now Patrick Roberts, he's also anything but on full energy. Now across in. Nadia Chief, she hits the post. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Roberts now has it. Passes it in. Nadia Chief, 2 0. 90th minute. And Nadia Chifchi wins us the game right here, 2-0. No way Man United are going to come back from this. Oh, first of all, we're definitely going to concede now after we've hit the post. Oh, Patrick Roberts gets the ball back. Beautiful pass inside. Chifchi, good finish. There we go, that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is going to be a third one. This is going to be a third one. Yasin Fairman. Yes, 3-0. Unbelievable. You just they just gave the ball away stupidly. And now the Chief now gets an assist next to his goal. And there's the final whistle. 3-0 against Man United. I don't think we won by that big of a margin yet against them. But the score doesn't really tell the story of the game. Man United could have easily grabbed an equalizer. Uh, they had enough chances. But the penalty by Zivkovic and the two late goals by Chifchi and Yasin Fairman 
give us a nice 3 0 lead, which is going to help us with the goal difference as well. But in the end, I guess you could say that we deserve this game just looking at the stats 84 shots, 41 target, and 55% possession. Also, good pass accuracy. Danny Ings, why? Why? You're a first team player, for God's sake. I just can't play you every game. Literally, Danny Ings and Patrick Roberts, they want to play 200 games per season. Something like that. Fuck you guys, seriously. <laughs> Ooh, McNulty wants to discuss wages. That's very interesting. A 10k raise. And he's not gonna make 25k per week. Very much deserved. He's a great, uh, great squad player, I must say. So next episode, we're gonna face Reading. The table stayed pretty much the same for us with a game behind Chelsea and also two points behind. So a win in that game in hand would put us. Uh, in first, so let's actually take a look at the calendar, see how this season's gonna end. I'm pretty sure this Reading game is the game we have in hand. I'm not sure, let's see if you fixture. Yeah, there's only Man City and Southampton playing that day. So we definitely want to win that. Then we also have Man City, which is gonna be very tough. This is absolute bollocks. It's right here. And then also Tottenham, who are currently third on the last day, so. It's going to be a very exciting uh, end to the season. I think I'm going to have the Reading and Man City game. Oh, no, wait. I'm actually going to... I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to have the Reading, Man City game, and Swansea game in one episode. Then we have uh, one episode for the Europa League final. And also one episode for the last day of the Premier League. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was definitely... <coughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, it was definitely a very uh, exciting one with us getting to the Europa League final and winning 3-0 against Man United. Uh, next episode is going to be huge. The, actually, the next three episodes are going to be huge. We could win two titles. We could win no title at all. Zivkovic looks like he's going to be top scorer of the BPL, which is very nice to see. But yeah, hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.